Obadiah. Another sort of camping experience is happening. Alright. <laughs> My name's Boris and I'm not a team. I can't help it, it's just the way it is. <laughs> Next time you play that fucking tune, I'm gonna shove that guitar up your ass. You know you love it. Rub on in, I'll stop. <laughs> Go on, rub it. <laughs> <laughs> Boris. No, it's not you, that's you. Oh, pass it over anyway. If you can't be bothered to play, actually play. Time for a mix of things. Anyways. Coming through! <laughs> They're hard in packs, waiting in the trees. When a victim walks underneath, they fall out, ripping fresh flesh. They can strip a man in minutes, I swear. Fucking hamsters, are you sure you're winding me up? Bill? Bill? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I swear it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's true. Oi, from Amsters, unpacks. You see their teeth, Alice. Strip a man to the bone as soon as look at you. Rabbits are bleeding bitches what are you too. Doing, Alice? I did have two horrible ha rabbits once. I had to let them go on hamster teeth because no one would go near them. But I never heard about hamsters. That's why you have to separate the males from females. Otherwise, they're all hunting darkness. <laughs> Bloody wind up merchant, can't believe I have to listen to you at all. Oh sorry, you're supposed to be reading that, aren't you? As well. <laughs> Elvis, did you know Elvis, that my brother was poor for a <laughs> Now you're just, oh, go, go. Yeah. Now you're just taking the piss, and I'm going to take one. It's fucking freezing and my ass is going numb on this log anyway. I'll leave you dickheads to your amusement, so I might have to hurt you all, and I'm far too stained for energy Oh, yeah, Alice, you need any help? <laughs> Fuck off, Irish little pervert. <laughs> yep, that's the way to get into her, Nickers. Make her feel ill when she's having a piss. You really haven't got a clue, you. <laughs> Listen to the man, Elvis, or it is unlikely you shall ever know the pleasures of the female form. They're so much better than us. 
who do not deserve their attention at all. They smell good, look good, taste good, work harder than us, have our babies, and yet with a bit of schmoozing and a little consideration, they'll do the most amazing things with their mouths. So <laughs> worth it. Mama. Please keep. Well, thank you, baby, I think. Well, thank you, baby. I think. <laughs> I think of more good reasons you should come. <laughs> he was there, a creepy man. He had a moustache. Where, baby? Over in the trees. He had a moustache, Mummy. What are you doing in the trees, <laughs> baby? I said stay where I can see you and don't go behind the tent. Well, Diego and Dora went to play hide and seek, and Diego was hiding that way because Dora saw his backpack. And Boo said he could see baby Diego in trouble over there, so me and Dora had to go and see. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it's got to be right. <laughs> what, what did you do, baby? He had a moustache, Mummy, and he was just a bad guy. They were talking. But how was he scary? What did he say? Oh, I just told you. Hang on, I can't hear you. <laughs> baby, this is why Mummy gives you rules. It's to keep you safe. Come on, baby, let's go and see. I'm sure they're not scary. Yeah, I'm sure you must have frightened them half to death with your screaming. My new friend Boris will come with Running us and we'll see if we can find them just to check you didn't make their heads explode with your scream. Okay? Our intrepid adventurers set off to discover the whereabouts of the mysterious mustachioed man, the aforementioned bad guy, and obviously e man? the obviously evil henchmen have retreated somewhat from the source of ear bleeding noisy babies and continue to plot ways to make their sinister secret work. For now they have some idiot. serious Welsh idiot and deaf idiot. <laughs> Tweedle fucking dim and Tweedle fucking dumb. No need to get poison all about it, boss. Whichever <laughs> <laughs> way you look at it, <laughs> there's no way that this was predictable. Being is mostly private and in the middle of nowhere, see? Don't try and rationalise, it doesn't suit you. And I'm, because I pay you the exorbitant amount I do, it entitles me to get as personal as I fucking like. Hey, <laughs> baby! <laughs> you have a job arriving early tomorrow morning, a fucking festival going right up right next to the landing area. The fucking Juan is not going to be happy exchanging plans and driving around the fucking coast of Kent with a boat full of weed for the largest import of quality ecstasy since 1989. And I will not suddenly find my spleen removed because of some fucking hippie. <laughs> Get me, get me somewhere I can get a signal. I'm going to call in favour from a call in a favour from a bent cop who owes me. I haven't got time for all this shit. While the obviously evil mustachioed man pressurises the hapless chief inspector, our campers have moved to the, with the help of a pink-haired fairy and various other assorted characters, much to the children's delight. Fuck me. More, give me a little shrimp honey I want. You're looking at a drive if you want more than a toke on a J. You remember mad Jerry Cherishin married that Drusilla bird. She had a fascinate she had a fascination with garden names. <laughs> Obadiah. Obadiah. Obadiah.